What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to disable certain systems from the database or from the main menu in Hyperspin. And there's a few reasons why you might want to do this. One of them being that, uh, you know, there's there might be certain systems that you never really play, but you don't want to necessarily delete them. You just want to disable them in a way so that they're not appearing on the menu and you can get to the other systems that you do use uh, quicker. Um, one way that I use this is when I have uh, people over, let's say I'm having a party or something like that, and I'm having people over and I just want to narrow down the list of systems available to, you know, avoid uh, issues or anything like that. You know, there's certain systems as, on here, as you guys know, that require a little bit of knowledge to kind of work. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll disable anything that's problematic like that. Uh, let's say like, a, like Commodore 64 or any keyboard based systems, you know, when I have people over, I just want them to use the the arcade games, uh, you know, maybe like Super Nintendo, Nintendo, things like that. But I'll get rid of any funky systems that, that people are not really going to want to play anyway, like the older computer based systems and television, things like that. And I'll disable them temporarily. And then, uh, you know, I just enable them back back again when when everybody's uh, when everybody's gone and it's just me. So um, Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. So first you wanna go ahead and click on the yellow folder down here in the taskbar. And on the left here, you have your databases, right? So you click on that. And then you're gonna look for main menu. So here's main menu, and then you double click on there. And here's your main menu XML. So this is gonna have all of the systems that you see in your Hyperspin wheel when you first start it up. Now, what I like to do is I'll copy paste this, right? To make a backup, paste. And you can always call it something like, you know, main menu full, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Full and then enter. There you go. Now you have a nice backup that hasn't been fiddled with or anything. So you can get back to it if you make any mistakes or anything like that. So I'm going to go to the main menu.xml, double click it. And here are all my systems, right? Each line is a system. So let's say I want to disable... Uh, I don't know, Nintendo 64. I'll click at the beginning of the line there, and then you want to type this in, this uh, left uh, triangle, whatever that character is called, exclamation mark, and then dash, dash. All right, if you see what happened when you did that is everything below it turned green and has been disabled, but you want to close that tag out. So. If you left it like this right now, everything here is going to be disabled. So what you want to do is you want to go to the end of the line and then do dash, dash, and then the right triangle thingy. All right. Now you see that only that line is green. That means only that system is disabled. And then at that point, what you would do is you would click the floppy disk to save. And now when you start up Hyperspin, Nintendo 64 is not going to show up. Now you're not deleting the system you're just disabling it from the menu. So everything is still there. If you wanted to go back and enable it again, you would just get rid of this last portion here that we just put in with the right uh, arrow and the two dashes. And again, at the beginning here, the two dashes, the exclamation mark and that left arrow. And you can see that it goes back to looking just like all the other systems. And now Nintendo 64 would appear in the wheel again. Now, if you want to get rid of a whole bunch of them at the same time, it's the same idea. You do the left arrow, exclamation mark, dash, dash, and you look for where you want to stop. So let's say you want to disable all these Nintendo systems all the way up to, let's say, Sega CD. You click at the end of Sega CD, dash, dash, right uh, arrow like that, and now you can see that everything here is green which means none of this stuff will show up in the main uh, menu when you go to select your system. So then you would save it again, and there you go. Now, what I do is I'll go through this, right, and I'll disable every single thing that I don't want to have enabled when I have people over. And, you know, I'll put those characters in front of every single thing, and then I'll save it, and then I'll, I'll name that database, like in this folder here, I'll name it like main menu, uh, you know, party, something like that. And then I'll leave my main menu 
with all the systems when, when I'm using it. And then I'll have that one main menu, uh, you know, dot party dot XML or, or, you know, whatever parentheses party, whatever. And then when people are coming over, I can just quickly swap between the two. I'll rename, you know, like, let's say this was my party one here. Okay. And then, you know, you, you need one name to main menu that XML or it's not going to show anything. Right. So this is my full one that I backed up. So I'll put that back. There it is. Right. So I would go into this folder and that's what it would look like. So, okay, I'm going to have a party. I'm going to set this up for the party. So I come here and I say, I'll rename this one to like full. And then I'll rename my party one. Whoops. I double clicked on it by mistake. Let's close this out. So I'll rename the party one main menu dot xml boom and now when i start hyperspin it's only going to show everything that is not green okay all right guys hope that was helpful if you liked the video leave a thumbs up subscribe hit that bell icon so you get all the all the latest updates and i will see you guys on the next one